Hey everyone, Oliver here and today I'm with Philip from Zurich and we are going to discuss how he added the Electric Power 1 and 2 to his art collection. So yeah, Philip, why don't you introduce yourself quickly and your interest in art? Hi guys, my name is Philip, I'm a quantum coach. My specialty is to take people to action towards their desire and the results are crazy. And one of the reasons why they're so crazy is because I'm using quantum technology. This is my passion. I love to bring together the physics, the quantum physics and the spirituality so you can create your magic life out of it. If you want to follow me, go to waveconsult.ch where you will find all the events and seminars that I do. They are for free and it's talk. So that's me, right? Um, my interest in art, I've, I've always dreamt of uh, having art around me because I just love it. The, the, the energy that radiates from it and, and art as such I find extremely valuable because it is one of the few spaces in life where you don't do stuff with a purpose that goes beyond exactly, you know. That makes it so contemplative for me. So for instance, when you go out on the street, you do that because you want to go shopping or because you're right? So you have a purpose. But when you paint the painting, you just paint the painting because you paint the painting. You know what I mean? And and that is that is so beautiful about it. And then I met Oliver a little more than a year ago and he posted the picture of this painting um, online and actually as you can see, oh shit, something is dropping. Uh, oh no, you can't actually see it. It's it's on the other side. I've, I've really arranged it nicely in my office. But when I saw this picture, it was exactly this picture behind me. I said, mm, I need to have this energy in my life. So that was the reason why I added your painting to my art collection. And I have to, I have to be very honest with you guys. There's no art collection. <laughs> These are just the paintings of Oliver. And but. You know, that's a start. Very good experience. Cool, yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's definitely a start. And for me, you're an art collector now. So <laughs> you're definitely <laughs> yeah. on the right path. <laughs> yeah, cool. So, Philip, tell us a little bit more about what, when you saw the painting first online. Why, why did you feel or think you need to have this or those two? Um, at the time, I was very busy with water and, and the importance of water on, on, on life quality. Um, and when you think about it, you know, we're made of 70% water, so it's really important. And I figured out a few things. And one of the things is that I started to use high energized water with in blue bottles. And the blue of those bottles is exactly the blue that you are using in these paintings. Plus, this really looks so electric, and I'm also very much into what happens on a cell level electrically, you know. And and plus, you know, that circle that you see up there, and the, and the lightning-like quality of the white splashes and the painting, uh, you know, they just radiate such a nice energy that I said I I had to have it. Mm, cool, cool. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, when you think back, when did you first got interested in art general? Oh, very early. I, I found my, I don't even know what the artist was, but I found myself standing in front of those famous just white paintings, you know. Uh, learning that the artist had put so much effort into finding the exact right tone of white. And then, then you stand in front of that painting and, and you hardly see the texture of, of the brush stroke. And, and it tells you something because uh, it, it challenges you. And, and I love that. I love that interaction between the artist and, and the, the person watching the art because it's a challenge, right? I mean, you're doing something and I mean, you've certainly heard, I think uh, many artists hear that, um, you know, my my dog could have done this or my my kid could have done this right yeah and you once posted something on facebook like a dialogue um, oh yeah my kid could have done this and and, uh, and and then your response was do you remember what your response was or the response in the in the cartoon was 
Yeah, I, I think it was something like, yes, everybody says my kid could do that, but nobody's really doing it. Something exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I'm all about doing. I'm all about creating results. That's how I'm successful. Exactly this with the paintings. And that's for me the, 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 the spirit that, that these paintings transport. You just, you just fucking do it, you know? That's, that's amazing. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, it's exactly true. I mean, yeah, so many people talk. And they think they can do it better if, if it's now with paintings or whatever, also with other things, right? They always think like, I can do it better or this is easy, but to actually do it is, is a different level. And in the end, yeah. you see, when you do it, you see it's not that easy, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. It's like with soccer, right? Yeah. It's like with soccer. When, when the national team plays, uh, you all of a sudden have a million experts. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I, I, I really I, I admire and appreciate that and and maybe maybe you're through these paintings through the spirit in these paintings you inspire me into action mm, cool yeah. that's amazing that's amazing yeah 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 so let's talk about the styles the styles you're interested do you have certain styles you're interested in no no I'm uh, I'm looking for uh, the heart connection between me and the painting, and um, I I want to have I want to have some t some sort of connection. What I don't like are the hyper uh, mentalized type of paintings. You know, mm -hmm. I want to I want to it needs to, it needs to be something that that challenges me, but on a on a deeper level. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. so so I. There's this artist, I don't know who he is, but, but he, he, in the 70s, back in the 70s, he canned his poo, right? Oh. <laughs> he put his poo in a can. And I'm not sure if I should like that because, you know, nobody knows, knows if really his poo is in the can. But opening it would destroy the, 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 the would, would, dispo, would destroy the, 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 the piece of art. Mm-hmm. Or maybe maybe opening it is a piece of art itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that is that is that is what art does to me. And that's you know you could I could, you could confront me with anything, and I could well see myself in a position of collecting more art. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I see. And you talked about connection and challenging you and like the the heart connection. When do you know you you feel connected to a painting? Uh, when I see it and I say, "Wow, it's 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 giving me something." It, it, there's there's I don't I, I there's not there's no way I can put this into words. It's just like when I saw the picture of of uh, of the painting behind me, I was like, "That's cool. I want it." You know, it was no it was beyond doubt. It was like, "I want it." Mm, okay, I see. And and so so first is the connection, like the, it's some kind of feeling that you just feel where you feel good and you feel like, "Wow." So like the love. wow effect, love, yeah. love, love, probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. And after that, you probably came to the realization that it had to do with water and le electricity. So was this after the connection? Well, I think subconsciously the um, the connection was based on on the fact that I was surrounding myself with a lot of blue at that moment. Actually, I have one of these bottles here. Let me just get them. Mm -hmm. So. See, <laughs> this is yeah uh, very much the same thing, and I like it. I mm -hmm. like it so. So I guess uh, that it reminded me of it, mm -hmm. and and then I then you have this electricity uh, type of uh, atmosphere going on, mm. which you... which I feel resonates very well with me. Yeah, yeah, because you also work with energy, right? Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. So and uh, tell me a little bit more about. What were you doing or how did you feel with your office right now without the paintings? Do you feel any change since you have them? They were here from the beginning because the office is quite new. And I feel they're really important mm -hmm. because um, uh, the office, I took it over from somebody else and, and uh, it's still not my furniture in here. So uh, it was really important for me to create something that was me. Mm. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and and your paintings—they were just 
you know, um, even even the, uh, the 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 nails or the screws where where they hang were in a perfect position already. Mm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. yeah. And like before, you had the paintings, and the, the your office was like without paintings. Did you did you feel like there was something missing? Were you looking for a painting, or was it really just just the connection you felt to them? I wasn't looking for anything because when I moved in here, uh, it was full with somebody else's stuff. But now the situation has changed, and I'm I'm allowed to kind of spread a bit here. Mm -hmm. And I feel that art is a very important way for me to uh, express myself and 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 to kind of to kind of uh, mark a place to make a place my place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes it more. It personalizes it on on you and and what you want to feel and see. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Because you you also want to surround yourself with stuff that lifts you up. That is meaningful to you, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's 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 what I'm trying to transport as a coach, right? I wanna I wanna create meaningful lives. I wanna help people create meaningful lives, and that starts with what you surround yourself with. Mm. True, very true. Yeah, cool. So, when you think about three words that this painting inspires you, what three words would that be, or reminds you of? Clarity, energy, and power. Clarity, energy, and power. That's beautiful. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's something, yeah. You want to be reminded of every day. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Even subconsciously. Yeah. No, it's not. I came up with this very quickly, but I never thought about it actually. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it's just what's happening. Mm. I see. Yeah. Just, just you look at it and it just happens. You don't even think it, about it. It creates an atmosphere. Mhm. Mm Amazing. Cool. So, Philip, yeah, tell me, when did we, did we first meet and when did you start, like, getting interested in my art? We met in May and I saw you, like, wearing your, your, uh, your, your shirts and so on with your art on. So it was very clear from the beginning that you are doing art. Mm -hmm. And and then you you posted your stuff on Facebook and that obviously I was interested in knowing who you are what you do and, and then I saw you doing art and I'm like this is good um, you know again I have an affinity for art mm -hmm. and um, and so yeah that that was basically it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay cool and what well, like I probably know the answer but I still want to ask. Like, did you see other paintings as well that you liked and then you needed to kind of choose or was it super, super clear for you? This was clear. Yeah. They they were clear. You know, when you brought them to me and, and I could touch them, you know, that, that was also a very sensual experience. You remember that evening where you were in the trunk of the car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> very nice. So these are stories that I wouldn't want to miss. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they're they're kind of always there, you know. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. And now more about uh, like financial question. Did you ever see art as an investment, like a like an asset class that can appreciate in in value over time, or or was this not really something you were interested in or focused on? I wasn't focused on it, but I know that this happens. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. And. Um, uh, you know, I I love how you are rolling in that uh, uh, perspective because you are you are you are really adding to the increase of value to uh, of your of your of your work, which is which is great. <clears throat> but you know, like this is not a this is not um, this is not speculation for me. I I bought these paintings because I wanted them in my environment, and um, should I ever get to the position where I needed to sell them. That would be a bad place, you know. I don't want to sell them, mm. so I'm not. I'm not really interested in the money side of things, mm -hmm. you know. Because because why would why would you look for value if you say I'm not going to sell them anyways? True, true. Yeah. Well, what, what I like about art is it's first of all you see it every day. Like for most people, it's not really um, an asset class, or it is an asset class, but they like you don't focus on the investment, but more 
like like having and seeing the painting and being reminded on the great feelings they get from it. Um, but I think as well, it's a great feeling to know that you know this is not like a car which loses on its value over time, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. actually keeping the value. Plus, it it goes up. So, for me, probably it's a feeling of abundance, and I'm surrounded by abundance. Yeah, mm -hmm. because you know, you know, especially you as the artist who wants to like sell the paintings, uh, you know. But I, what I'm surrounded with is actually so much money. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. You made me. You made me think that one day I should be doing art. Maybe. You know, like yeah. really cranking out, cranking out massive amounts of paintings or something. It's so. It's so inspiring. What do you do? Really. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that feeling. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, did you? maybe also have a milestone in mind. So let, let's say um, when you bought them, was there like a milestone or something you wanted to commem commemorate with the paintings? You know, as a reason to buy them or was just like, no, I want them, that's it. Mm, that's a funny question because um, there was nothing that I have been thinking of as a milestone. However, I liked the paintings and I was thinking, should I make the investment or not? Mm -hmm. And and then I said, well, I've set out to be very successful, like financially as well. Mm -hmm. And you know I am, right? Mm -hmm. So so I was I was like, if if I'm gonna be successful anyways, like I might buy them as well right now. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and so and so art is Art is not something that you need, right? You you would rather go buy some pasta or something. Uh, but when you when you allow yourself to put money into something that you don't really need, you will start to ask yourself, what am I thinking of myself and my capacity to actually generate income? You know what I mean? Yeah. And and then you can say, I'm staying away from buying it because I can't afford it. But that's basically the same thing as saying I'll stay away from buying it because I won't be able to make the amount of money in a in a meaningful period of time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And and so for me, buying the, buying these paintings was, might have been uh, 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 you know like adding to my momentum of success. Mm -hmm. You know because because I said I'm going to buy them. Even though it's completely irrational right now, I mean, nobody nobody spends, uh, you know, like a relatively high amount of money on something that they don't really need in a situation where they're actually just building their business. Mm -hmm. But that was like, yeah, but if I'm going to be successful anyways, I might as well just do it right now because I don't need the cash right now. I'm I, I was I'm, I'm living on very quite quite small cash, right? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that's, for me, art in this context is also an invitation to jump off the cliff, mm. to do something that is not rational. Because I guess 99 out of 100 people would have said it doesn't make any sense to buy art now. But I, I really, I said, I, I like the artist. I want those. Pig, I want those paintings, and I um, I wouldn't see why I shouldn't buy them because I'm going to be successful anyways. You know. Mm. Okay, yeah. that you makes know? sense. Yeah, yeah. And but but I have to admit, I mean, uh, back in the time when when I bought them, what was it like? A little less than a year ago, a few months, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. It to me to me feels like it's decades ago. Mm. But. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't sure about my success at all, and still, universe proved me proved me safe every month again and again and again and again. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I guess you you got to create your reality. I think art art is a great way into this. Mm. Art is a great way into saying to yourself, I'm gonna spend this amount of money. Just to just to spend it on something that I don't really need and that is extremely beautiful and that adds to my life. Yeah, yeah, it's luxury. Like, and if you 
allow yourself to spend money for luxury, you, you feel like you feel rich and I believe you attract more then. And, and it yeah. sometimes also stretches you and pushes you a little bit yeah. because yeah. you say like, I want to live like that. I want to live a life of, of luxury and have beautiful things around me and I want to be able to afford it. And this might be also the, the, the push you needed to, you know, step forward and go, go in even more. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So Amazing. Cool. I love it. I love it. Um, tell us a little bit, how was your process? Let's say your process of selecting the art from, from, from seeing it, from making the decision, from your, maybe your doubts you had and how, how you overcame the doubts. So yeah, like, like the process for everybody who's listening and is interested in that, you know. So how was that for you? Well, again, I saw your pictures on Facebook. And um, I said, I, I think I, I, it must be somewhere still on Facebook. Uh, I said I like it, and and you said how much it was, and then I stayed away for a little, and and then you know the the thought process that I just described to you was exactly what was going on. I said, well, I like it. I might die at any moment, so so why not do something like really beautiful for myself? Mm -hmm. And uh, you also showed me some other pictures. I have another painting from you. Mm -hmm. um, and um, but I sticked with these. I sticked with these. They had exactly what I wanted at that moment. Mm. So yeah, that was that was kind of the process. It, it took it took a bit of time to to marinate, right? Because uh, you might see that as a part of of the of the piece of art, actually. You know, like what it does with you. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. To, it's beautiful to reflect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So I, yeah, at some point I even felt a little stressed, mm -hmm. which is great. Mm -hmm. Then you have the opportunity to say, "Oh, cool! I'm feeling stressed about buying art. Mm -hmm. Like, how how can that even be? You know?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it, it's it's like. You know, it's if it if, if you wouldn't care, you wouldn't feel stressed about it, right? But the that you feel stressed means actually already something. It's like, oh, you know, I'm I'm really seriously thinking about it, and it's stretching me a bit. So, yeah, it means yeah. It, it means something to me. Yeah. 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 Cool. And I think it's also good for others to know. You know, when you feel stressed, or let let's say stretched, or you just feel something, it's not necessarily always bad. It just means that you are actually, you know, you actually, it has some meaning to you. Otherwise, you wouldn't care at all. You wouldn't feel anything. Yeah, there's a resonance. There's mm -hmm. a resonance. And it always brings up new topics, mm -hmm. new insights about yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's also yeah. when you feel or see that the painting is alive or, yeah, it has meaning to you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Love yeah. that. Yeah. Cool. So, Philip, how do you feel now? Like uh, we talked about before, and and now, you know, did something change for you? How feel you? How do you feel right now with the paintings in your office? I'm I'm definitely energized, and I, um, you know, it was good to go back to to kind of to kind of uh, newly appreciate some maybe even some new viewpoints about uh, what you gave me here. Mm. So thanks for that. You're welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> cool. Did also did other people come over and, and see it? Oh yeah, all the time. Okay. All cool. the time. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. And they, they they appreciate it totally. Nice. Totally. Awesome. Cool. So and um, yeah, did did anything change like in the way you saw them? Let's say. Did you maybe discover something new? You looked closer at it and you saw something like, wow, I didn't even see that or get that. Or, or maybe the perspective changed in the painting as you saw them before. Yeah, did something like this happen to you or is it pretty much the same? Well, um, you know, going closer to the canvas and, and also seeing that the paint, mm -hmm. the, 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 the texture of the paint is uh, it's just next level. Mm. That, is, that is definitely something that changed. Mm -hmm. I I love that you know there's a there's here there's this big chunk of you can't really see it but there's there's a big there's a big piece of, of paint dried paint which I kind of find funny yeah <laughs> it looks like a slug is it white or is it blue 
It's blue. It's this one here. Ah, that's oil. Yeah. It's oil color, like th like a yeah. Yeah, yeah. It looks like it looks like uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the, the, the slug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of love it. Yeah. Yeah, that that's the cool thing, in my opinion, about original art because this is this happened organically. You don't do that on purpose, right? It it happened, yeah. and this is yeah. part of the art. Yeah. Mm. Cool, yeah. cool. Good, Philip. Yeah. So in the end of the day, let's when we summarize everything, like why did you decide to select an original Hoyas painting? Well, because I met you, and because I I love to have art around me. And the, the rest we spoke today kind of evolved then. And I think that's cool. It, it, it's a journey. Mm. I love that. Yeah, art is a journey. Exactly. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not like it's not solid. It's not, not it's hard to explain. But yes, you, as you say, you discover more. It's a journey. Yeah. I yeah. It, you don't put it on the wall and that's it. It does something with you. Mm, I love that. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, would you also recommend to other collectors to invest in a piece of my portfolio? Well, I mean, look, look, look guys, guys, look what he's got and, and see if you like the energy. And again, I, I totally believe in this, uh, uh, in, in the courage, in, in, the, in the doing and in, in, in the entire story around it. Um, and, and if you, I, I believe, I believe what, what you have inside of you gets transported with these paintings. So if you want to move to a space where you where you really just do things and, and hack it out, and you know, um, I believe I believe then then these paintings are just the right thing. Mm -hmm. As opposed to probably somebody who would spend uh, you know like extremely long and uh, in on those paintings and there there are also a lot of artists who, uh, who have if I may say a, a much larger amount of self-doubt than you do right yeah and that can that's and I think that's the difference between your paintings and other paintings mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like also how you do this you know this is part of it and I, I love to I love to have paintings of somebody who doesn't doubt, who just do, who just, of course you doubt, everybody doubts, but, yeah. but you, you just do it anyways. That's amazing because I don't know, I don't know if those people who watch this now are familiar with quantum physics, but quantum physically we are, well, we're linked anyways, right? We are part of one, but these paintings kind of create a, a fresh and strong bond. So, so whenever somebody has their painting, has your painting, they they benefit from your energy who you are you know it's kind of i'm not going to say therapy but it's kind of like coloring the life mm, yeah i get that yeah 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 yeah, yeah it's, it's like transferred energy and captured in a painting kind of yeah yeah it's like it's like when i give when i give homework to my clients because homework is the most important thing for them they change their lives right Mm -hmm. And I'm not around, but if I tell you to walk straight or smile or, or have a conversation with somebody or make a list of something, then the spirit of me, of creating something, of doing something, of, of achieving something is there. And you will see how it transforms your life. I feel you're doing the same thing here. Thank you. Yeah, I love that. Thank you, Philip. Cool. You're welcome. What would you say, what sort of art collector would be specifically interested in my art style if you think there is a specific type of person? Um, people who strive for more, people who do, people who are alive, you know, who, who are looking for for something extraordinary, mm -hmm. you know. They, I mean, I could, I might as well have put some prints here. Mm -hmm. You know, it would look good, but it's, it's not it. Mm -hmm. I had to go for an original Hoyas. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm now relying on you on being extremely successful. So, so people come to me and go like, oh, you got Hoyas. I mean, Hoyas painting. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's Hoyas. Hey, I, I, was just, I just saw the large exhibition in uh, Kronschhaus, Zürich. <laughs> yeah, you got them. Very nice. I, I totally rely on you, Oli. <laughs> Good. That's my motivation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> cool. cool. Awesome, great. Philip. Thank you so much. That's great. You're so, welcome. If you say somebody, somebody's on the fence, also like thinking of investing in an original piece of art, uh, maybe it's it's a present for someone or it's for themselves. Maybe they, they buy it as an investment or whatever the reason is. Why do you think it's important to take action now? I love the question. Wait. <laughs> uh, why not now? You know, if you... If you wanna, if you wanna have fun, and if you wanna challenge yourself, and if you're, if you're up for growth, and if you're up for uh, doing something extraordinary, then, then why wait? Waiting is, I mean, waiting is okay, but it kind of needs to be framed correctly. If it's just waiting because you say, mm, I don't know, I don't know, create clarity, create clarity. Like figure, don't don't stay too much in this I don't know thing. Say yes or no. Mm. Okay, true. And 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 life is life is a game. Life is adventure. And um, yeah, I that's that's why that's why I believe you should do it. Mm. Better taking action and risking something than than always waiting and not being. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I uh, I just. I just spoke to a client before and she was like she is 58 and and she has a she has a dream she has a big dream and um, but she's always said I'm here and I need to do this in order to achieve my dream um, and my star is like no I mean you can but why wait another 10 years or so just go for it directly you know this is the kind of mindset we need to develop mm -hmm. Because mm. everything else is just buffering and 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 uh, and not doing it and then finding excuses or oh, I need to save up or blah 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 blah, but don't get me wrong. If you say I want this painting, put it aside for me. I'll save up. Mm -hmm. Do it, mm -hmm. but then you might as well just get it and 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 you know like pay in installments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. And, and I, I think I think if you uh, in this in the sales process, it's it's such a beautiful thing to do, to to point that out to people. Say, look, we can make this happen right now. The question is, are you a person who makes things happen right now? Mm. Who who are you eventually? You know, who are you? Mm. True. Do you hesitate or do you do? What kind of person are you? Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Because I mean. For me and also for you as a coach, right? For us, it's about making it happen for others. It's not about like being stingy or like, you know, it, no. it's really for me also as well. Like for me, it's really about making things happen for people. And yeah, I think it's a it's a question of respect, actually, because when somebody comes to you and says, oh, I love this painting, I want it. And you go like it costs 10,000 then then they're like, oh, that's too much. You know, I need to save up for it. Mm -hmm. And then you need to be totally honest with yourself and, and with everybody around you. Go like, well, you you said you wanted the painting. Yes, I wanted. Okay, cool. You can take it with you, and and you you pay in installments. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like and and then when they say yeah, but I don't know if I can do it, then you know there's something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then and then you can ask, well, what else is there? You know, why why are you hesitating? Or why did you even say you wanted it? And now now that I'm making it possible for you, mm -hmm. you're hesitating. What what you know like. Who do you want to be? Mm, mm, you know, mm. I, I believe this is one of the strongest questions that you can ask because I uh, I do that with my clients all the time. So who do you want to be? Mm. Who do, you, do you want to be somebody who hesitates, mm, who turns mm. 70 and hasn't done yet what she's already been talking about at 55, you know? Yeah. And, and knowing that life is a game and it is over very quickly. Uh, I, I think I think you have the privilege through your art to inspire people to to move to something bigger. Mm, I love that. Amazing, mm. great, Philip. I love it. Great answer. Cool. <laughs> 
Thank so, you. <laughs> so now we are almost done, but not yet. So, Philip, what's your f number one advice for future and current art collectors? When you feel, when, you're, when your heart says, I love this. Mm -hmm. I feel a good vibe. I want it to be around me. Go get it. Make it possible for yourself. Of course, I mean, if you're living on the street uh, and you don't even have a wall to put the painting on, then, then your priorities may be a little different, right? But then, you, then you've already been in that position before and, and uh, so it doesn't occur. But if you, if you have the chance to do it, do it. Mm. Really, life is always so quickly. Mm. Life is always so quickly. 100%, yes, so true. And and signalize to yourself that even though even though this is an investment, you signalize to yourself that you can make it back. Yeah. Because because your system will learn it. It's like what Joe Dispenza says: build a new brain, shock yourself. I spent I spent thirty thousand Swiss francs uh, on a on a coaching, <laughs> and that was just. 30,000 out of 90,000 of total that I spent last year on coaching. Wow. Massive stretch, many, many sleepless nights, but it was necessary because I see what it does. I see how valuable it is. And, and, and so it puts me in a position of, of reflecting that higher value to the outside world. And I guess the same happens is when, when, when you invest in, in luxury, when you, when you invest in art. Mm, totally. Yeah. 100%. I love it. Cool. So, Philip, what if, if people now want to talk more with you? They say, like, yeah, Philip is a cool guy, very interesting, I want to know more. So, where can they find more about you? Well, hit me up on Facebook under waveconsult.ch. The .ch is also on Facebook. Um, go to Instagram. It's uh, Philip uh, period A1. So, Philip is P. You know, you want to get a uh, pencil and the paper. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> uh, it's P H I L I P P period A1. I'm on Instagram. I'm having a lot of fun there. I'm not really strategically sharing anything. I'm just blowing out whatever comes my way. And uh, yeah, my website is waveconsult.ch where you can find, again, I want to really highlight this, my uh uh, my online seminars. I also have offline seminars. Uh, they're filling up very rapidly. So on the 13th of August, I will do something in Zurich. Um, in, I'm looking over there because it's right over there. Mm -hmm. uh, in in uh, Seefeld, uh, GZ Riesbach, Seefeldstraße uh, 93. So if you're from Zurich and if you're interested in, in seeing the connection between doing quantum physics and spirituality you know like uh, and and some good energy and meeting good people there's always good people then my advice is to come there and we're gonna have a lot of fun cool yeah i can confirm that you definitely will have fun with philip <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool awesome philip that was amazing it was a great great interview very interesting and very yeah fiery i would say you know we, we I think we both have this fire and I love that. So it was lots yeah. of fun. And thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, Philip, for being here and making that happen. I wish you all the best and hope to see you soon. Thank you, Oli. I wish you the same. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Philip. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye.